What up, watch peeps? The Monin case holds a special place in my heart. I have a few watches in the collection using this case, and they are some of my favorites. Well, a new one has just hit the scene, and it may be the coolest one yet. If it's good enough for freaking Magnum PI, it's good enough for me. All right, let's get to it. I'm Pete, and we are chilling with watches. Let's check. I'm wearing the Van Banner AO in a beautiful purple. You know, I've kind of settled into a groove where I've just been going back and forth between this guy and what is in here. And this is a super cool, fun watch. The whole buying experience was fun for me because I bought it in person from the guy who's making them. And check out that logo, it's awesome. And Chrono Ports, yeah, that is a play on Chrono Sport and it's an awesome play at that. We have, the certificate of authenticity hand filled out in my presence, which I thought was a cool touch. But what we really want to see is the watch itself, because this thing is freaking awesome. So it only comes in one color or one variant, just like the original did. And that's this kind of matte black dial we have here. And what we got is our modern case, you guys who... Uh, Watch me regularly know this is one of my favorite watch cases. It is my favorite watch case of all time. It's a 42 millimeter case, but it wears more like a 40. The bezel is actually only like 39 and a half. We'll take a look at the specs later. And these guys, you can only buy them on eBay right now for 325 bucks, which is not bad at all. So what we have here is a matte black dial. And now this is technically an homage, but it you know, feels to me more like a recreation of a very highly coveted watch that was worn by Magnum PI during the first few seasons of the show. And uh, I think these were actually issued to Navy SEALs at some point, and that is why Magnum PI had one. So the original was the Chrono Sport and, you know, my hands are in a bad spot, but part of having a course is that you never have to adjust it. So I ain't adjusting it for this video. You can see here that this is the Chrono Ports. And trust me, the mockery is 100% intentional and you know part of the charm of this watch. The logo and text, um, you know, the only thing on the dial that's different from the original is the logo. And since it's partially covered up, by the hour hand there. I'm gonna show it to you on here. It is this really cute, fun little duck design. And I, I thought it was awesome. And actually I believe it was drawn by the owner's wife. Now what else we have on the dial here? We have a day and a date at three o'clock with color match black date wheels, super awesome. The markers you got cardinal numbers, uh, other than the date six, nine and 12, which we all know is the most superior dial layout. And we have a minute track running around the outside, very pronounced. And, you know, the kind of the dashes of the minute track extend with the stick markers we have at all the other hours, creating a so many lines. And, you know, we know the most lines is the most superior. And if you check this out, look at that second hand. It pretty much hits all the marks all the way around on this one, which I think is super cool. We have these kind of paddle hour hand i guess that's what i would call that a paddle and then you have your regular kind of pointer minute hand done in orange which also we know is a most superior feature and we have kind of a rectangle seconds hand going on there reminds me a little bit of the tudor ranger seconds hand all that sits under a flat sapphire crystal with two layers of ar on the inside the bezel is not loomed, but neither was the original, but we do have a fully graduated minute track, which is most superior. You see a trend here. Grip has a nice coarse coin edge grip, very easy to use, especially from 12 to six o'clock because the case is wider than the bezel. It's a little less so anywhere else, but super easy to use vertically. The action, I would say it's kind of like a springy, spongy feel. It does have a decent amount of bounce back, but it kind of settles in solid, and you can see here the alignment is perfect. Now, these are actually German-made cases, which helps this watch qualify for Swiss-made, which you can see on the dial down here at 6 o'clock. I know I can give you a zoomed-in view of the dial, so I'll give you a quick one here. It's a very nice printed matte black dial. Now this case kind of reminds me of the 
flowy organic style of the SKX just with a three o'clock crown format. It's very curvy. It has these really robust chunky lugs as you can see here also has very prominent crown guards that from this view kind of look like a fish like a parrot fish eating a pellet or something <laughs> i don't know has really nicely sized mid case the proportions to each other are all very much in line it makes it look really nice it does have a yeah, modest amount of exposed case back but it's a fully brushed case, as you can see, all the way around, which contributes to the really tool watch look and nature of this one. On the other side, we have a six millimeter crown, which, you know, even with these crown guards, as you can see, there's enough exposed that it is super easy to use. No problems there at all. It's not a signed crown. This is a very utilitarian tool watch, and I think this is fitting with the aesthetic. Let's get the strap off, take a look at the case back. Again, a very kind of simplistic circular brushed case back with your specs around the outside and your water resistance of 30 ATM stamped in the middle. And it is, of course, a screw down case back. Now, this strap it came with is just a very simple Zulu strap with blasted hardware. And I've admittedly not worn it on this strap because it just crushes on so many other straps that I have here. Now strapping leads me to maybe my only criticism of this watch and that is the placement of the spring bar holes. I am fully aware of the level of douchebaggery required just to have an opinion on where a spring bar hole should be. But hey, here I am. As you can see here, they are all the way at the tip. Now this is by no means a showstopper, but if the spring bar holes were just a smidge in and maybe a smidge higher, you wouldn't be able to see so much of this inside of the lug. I just think it would be yeah, a little more sightly, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. If we put it on a two-piece, you'll see there's a really a giant gap that you can see through there, which I think is a little unsightly. But most importantly, moving that spring bar hole might give you the possibility of getting some curved end link bracelets on there. Going over the dimensions, we have a 42 millimeter case, 41.9 precisely as I measured it. But like I said, it wears more like a 40 because it measures 39.6 millimeters at the bezel. Has a lug to lug of 47.2 millimeters and it comes in at 13 millimeters thick and it has a 20 millimeter lug width. Going over some of the other specs, we have a flat sapphire crystal, two layers of AR on there uses what I assume is Swiss Super Luminova, but there is plenty of it as we'll see shortly. It's running the Ronda 517 day date quartz movement and has a whopping 300 meters of water resistance. On this OEM supplied Zulu strap, it comes in at 103 grams. And here is how it wears on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. You can see with that NATO, obviously it's riding a little higher, but this is exactly the size. And this is the way I want all my divers to wear and size wise. And I, I feel like maybe that's part of why this case is such a home run to me. It just really feels at home on my wrist. Here's how it appears alongside the 38.5 millimeter Seiko Solar Diver. Now these are obviously quartz, so they're thinner and much smaller watches, but we'll start with a small watch and give you a comparison there. You know, it's not a huge thing. You can see it definitely doesn't look like a 42. If I were to bring the Doxa in here, this is another 42 and a half millimeter diver that doesn't quite wear like a 42. Again, the bezel being much smaller than the case dimensions. And I also have an SKX here, also about 42 and a half millimeters. And I think, boy, these look like a really close comparison visually. And I probably get a very similar wearing experience out of the two as well. As I mentioned, they both kind of have these curvy organic cases. And lastly, let's check out the loom. Keep the loom. Hey, go, you can see it has a really nice bright loom. I think he opted for 
additional layers of loom when doing this build and it was definitely well worth it that rehot the way it is reflecting that loom is kind of sick so there you go, the Chrono Ports C Quartz. You know, I think I can safely say, since buying this watch, it's on my wrist most days of the week. I love it on an MN. It kills on anything orange, and it's just always ready to go. Plus, being in my favorite watch case design of all time, that doesn't hurt either. All right, before I let you guys go, sneaker check, I'm just wearing my black Vans because I'm ball boying later, and I ain't wearing Jordans for that. All right, that's it, I'm out. If it's not too much trouble, please like, subscribe, and come back next time. Peace.